What is poppin everybody? You got Count Viavio you here back with another snake game between Realistic Waters, or I'm gonna call them Waters, and JYT. Uh, both of them are friends of mine actually, so this is gonna be an interesting game. So let's uh, let's take a look at these teams. Um, so they both brought a sort of balancey sort of build. Waters has brought another Scepta, which did work out for him the last game I saw of him anyway. Uh, JYT actually has a, a Vivian, which can be very, very good versus Waters. Uh, with Energy Ball for the likes of Quags, Arya, and Diancy, and Hurricane to just hit the rest of the team. I think that uh, Quiverdance, uh, Quiverdance Vivian could be very, very good. Uh, as JYT is pointing out, there's an Alolan Persian on Waters' team, which is... Uh, I mean, it sort of does the same thing as Silvali, which is parting shutting around. Z parting shot actually is uh, sort of like Memento, and it brings uh, something back. I'm not sure what happens when you use Z parting shot on a uh, Z. I was talking about Z Memento, right? Uh, I'm not sure what happens when you punish it out on a Zatu. Do you still bring something back to health? I don't know. But uh, I, I think that would be the Z user on Water Steam. I don't know why else you would ever use a Lolan Persian, if I'm being completely honest. Now, it does obviously have the fur coat, which means it can take physical hits. Uh, but in this matchup, that shouldn't matter at all. Because uh, it's not going to like Hariyama's hits anyway. What does leads with uh, Delphox versus a Rotom? I'm thinking this Delphox could be Scarf looking at the team because his, his only other speed control is like having a fast Mon in Sceptile, which isn't really great. Um, as for JYT, uh, this could actually also be Scarf. I could see it uh, be Scarf with Trick and Defog. It is his... Uh, he doesn't need a Defog because he has Satu. He decides to go to Slowbro, very nice. Gets Toxic. Wow. So it might not be Scarf done then. Um... Slurper has an okay matchup versus Waters, to be entirely honest. Like, Scald, Scald as a whole is just pretty good versus him. Um, it could be Water Absorb Quagsire. But I feel like Unaware is most of the time better. If JYT has Toxic, I could see him clicking Toxic here as well. Uh, just to see what Waters wants to go out into. However, if this is Substitute... Uh, yeah, if this is Substitute... Delphox, then you're in a worse spot. It is Mystical Fire, so it's probably the Subtoxic set. Uh, yeah, it shows Leftovers, so it makes sense. Mystical Fire to lower the special attack, which is obviously very, very good. Star Wars Called only did 37%. And if he wants to, he can just protect here if he has it. Um, and just wear this Slowbro down with Toxic. Now, JYT does not have a Pursuit user. So uh, I feel like this Delphox is going to be very annoying to deal with for him. Uh, I'm not sure how well it's going to be able to take on Vivio, but it's Wish too. Wow, that's rough. Yeah, that's that's going to make it tough for JYT to win. Anyways, I still think this is Scarf Rotom. Yep, it Voltwitches. Okay, it is Scarf Rotom. So he's probably going to Voltwitch out back into his Slowbro, but the Wish is up, so the Zelfox is just going to go back to full. Uh, Mystical Fire wouldn't be weird. Toxic wouldn't be weird. I think Mystical Fire is coming out. Oh, another Toxic. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Um, if he had tricked, though, if JYT had tricked the Stealth Fox, it, uh, Waters would have been in, a, in an annoying position. It shows to be Zapcat and Slowbro, so it's probably AV. Makes sense, the Skull damage did a lot, and minus one. Uh, and it should be bul bulky Stealth Fox, so uh, makes a lot of sense. But uh, yeah, if if I don't understand why Stealth Fox didn't protect on the Rotom. Because if he did have trick and he tricked the Stealth Fox, then, you know, your Stealth Fox is pretty much useless. So I don't know if I agree with that. He goes for another Zap Cannon, misses, unfortunately. It is a 50% move, so it's kind of his own fault for using it. I hate the move, so <laughs> I'm going to be straightforward. I understand that he really wanted to pair up because that would make it so much easier to deal with. But uh, yeah, he misses it. This slow bow is being worn down very quickly by the poison. It's going to take, what, 24% now? Plus uh, potential Mystical Fire. So I think there's no reason not to Mystical Fire here. He could Toxic, predicting maybe Hariyama. That wouldn't be a bad play. You could also wish if you want to, but uh, I think I would Toxic here. Goes into the Nancy on the Zatu. Okay, okay. He went to Zatu as a mid-ground play. This Fire would not have done too, too much, but it still would have hurt. Uh, Waters is playing really well currently. And JYT is doing the best he can. Goes into the Steelix on Power Gem. I'm not sure if that's spec damage. Uh, it is four times resisted. But I think it might be specs on this team. Nope, it's Stealth Rock. Okay, good. Both get up the rocks. Um... JYT couldn't really go into Zatu anyway because it's Power Gem, uh, Power Gem Diancy, so yeah. I think going for an Earthquake is fairly safe here. His best switching would be... Ooh. He does go for the Earthquake, yeah. That Earth Power did a lot. 
Don't know if that's Spadef Steelix, but it's definitely pretty offensive Diancy. Um, he doesn't have a good check to this besides Slowbro, but Slowbro is toxic with rocks up, and I'm pretty sure it's fairly low. So I don't know if it's going to take a nerf power into a Moonblast. And rocks are up, so Vivian is is m worth much less, basically. Um, this is looking this is looking bleak for JWT, Not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. So what do you do here? I'm assuming it's leftovers Hariyama at this point. I don't think slow protects. You, you have to sack something, I believe. I I think so. Hmm. Rough. Can you sack Steelix here? It doesn't do too too much, especially because his Dayancy has Earth Power. Um, so it wouldn't be the worst case. And because Waters has Defog and not Rapid Spin, it wouldn't be bad to lose your Rocker either. So you know it's it's okay, but it's not it's not great. You lose a sack as well. So yeah. Goes into the Rotom on another Earth Bomb? Yep, okay. Makes sense, but it's still tricky. Talking about Trick, uh, he could go for it now. No, nope, he just full switches on what I'm assuming to be a Moonblast into the Steelix. I guess he gets free damage off on a Deancy that's nearly dead. Uh, Deancy can freely Moonblast again because it will knock out Steelix. As you can see, it did 25%. I'm getting the feeling the Steelix is not Spadef, which uh, I don't like. Especially on this team when you have the Slowbro. I understand it's AV Slowbro with a Fist F Steelix, but... Uh, Spadef Steelix is just so much better. <laughs> Yeah, he moves again. Celix goes down. Uh, the ant is very low. Mm. I feel like you go Rotom again. And you kind of have to full twitch again. Because you need the Scarf as well. Sceptile is also extremely threatening versus JYT. Just a Leaf Storm, especially with Rocks up. Uh, Vivian could come in if he wants to, but uh, he's going to take Rocks plus a Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm is not going to do much. But whether it's Sash or whatever, it can't come in on Rocks anymore. So that's not going to be too great for it. Um, with Diancy this low though, Quiver Dance Vivian could definitely put in some great work. JYT basically just needs to defog. He goes on the, into the Quagsire, on the Volt Switch, J -way. That's that, that's JC. That's JC for you. But yeah. Um, I'm still thinking this is Scarf Rotom with Volt Switch, so he's going to have to go to Slowbro, exactly. It might be Grassland Slowbro, not sure. As it gets called, it does absolutely nothing. I'm wondering if Waters is going to scout for this Grass Knot. It, he does not. He just stays, takes a shit ton. Earthquake brings Slowbro down to a very low amount of HP. And I think Waters just stays into Scald again. He doesn't really lose much. He actually recovers. Okay, well, I guess the, the Quagsire is back to full. But he, I, I, don't, I don't think Quagsire does much. It helps take on the Hariyama, but you still have a Golbat, so that's fine. Um, it stops the Volt Switches from Rotom, which is great. It sort of takes on Rotom. I'm still curious what J JYT is going to want to trick. I thought it would be the Delphox, but I understand he wants the speed for the likes of uh, Sceptile, because Sceptile is just extremely threatening to him. Uh, Sax Diancy on Nightshade? Yeah, okay. Makes sense. I think he figured maybe a Toxic was coming out, but didn't want to risk uh, health on Golbat, I guess. As Dundies comes in, which is the Sceptile, um, HP Ice is fairly free. I'm not sure if it's Life or Perspects at this range. Uh, uh, right now? I don't know why I keep saying that. Don't know if it's Life or Perspects, but uh, I think HP Ice is uh, the most card, the, the, the most click move right now. You can go to Slowbro, but it's gonna take Rocks, it's gonna take the move, it's gonna take Toxic. Like the... <laughs> All the residual damage is really counting up onto the Slowbro. And you can't really go out into Rotom. You could go out into Hariyama, but if he does Leaf Storm, then your Hariyama is basically gone. Um, not that Hariyama does too, too, too much this game. Yeah. It doesn't do too much, but still. Giga Drain, oh my god. Is it Life Orb? Yeah, I was gonna say, that's not spec damage. That did, that did less than I would think. Uh, funny, fu fun fact is, if you Giga Drain Harayama, you get a shit ton of health back, because it does like, what, base 140 HP or something like that? It's uh, it's fat. So, um, I, think, I don't think RW, uh, sorry, I don't think Waters ever defogs here, because he needs the rocks up for the Vivio. It's also really nice for the for the Zatu and for the Rotom. Um, so he could go Golbat, and I think he just either Brave Bird, so yeah, the knockoff was a fairly safe play. Um, you could just Brave Bird here. I think you just Roost up in order to keep checking this Hariyama very easily. Because uh, that's really all you need it to do. What Waters has to do now is basically get in Sceptile safely a few times. He could double here, but 
he actually decides to roost up. Yeah. Now, since Quagsire is a fine play here, because if he tricks, then he can't ever trick the Delphox anymore. I'm not sure what JWT wants to do. He might double out here, but he has he doesn't really have a good double. <laughs> he really doesn't. Um, but if I'm Waters, I think I'm always going out to Quagsire. It's, you don't lose anything. If he tricks your Quagsire or whatever. He goes Sepsa. Wow. On the Volt switch? Thunderbolt. He can freely click Giga Drain again, I guess. JWT still doesn't have a switch in. And if he Thunderbolts again, he puts him in range of uh, Overgrow. Which means the Giga Drain is definitely going to KO him. Um, I think the Life Orb might actually be working against Waters here because of the residual damage from Life Orb. Uh, but Giga Drain should negate a lot of that. But yeah, I think I think Giga Drain is a very fine player. You don't lose anything. Rotom attacks you, you, game, you go back to probably the amount of health you are at right now. <laughs> and if he wants to switch, like Zato's not a switching because it dies to Giga Drain plus HP Ice. Same goes for Vivian, and uh, I'm pretty sure Hariyama should die to Giga Drain plus Leaf Storm, maybe even two Giga Drains. Goes to Zato on what I'm assuming to be Giga Drain. Yep. And that is two KO'd. And yeah, you just kick it rain again. JYT has to go out into either Hariyama or Rotom afterwards. Uh, assuming Rotom knocks it out with uh, Shadow Ball. I know Septa was kind of frail, but Rotom isn't that strong either. <laughs> so yeah, you just kick it rain again. This is not Scarf Zatu. That's there's, there's just no way. You can even see it from the kick it rain damage. So yeah, he even gained some HP there. Goes from 50 back to 60 in a few turns. Um. He can't really do the same trick again with switching into the Rotom because of uh, Rocks plus two Thunderbolts. Thunder. Thunderbolts KOing it. Yeah, you can just go back to Golbat here. Uh, JWT could try to predict that, but he doesn't have a, a good switch in. <laughs> like, what do you do? You double back to Rotom? And then he goes back to Quagsire? I just, I just, I, I'm looking for a win con on JYT's. It, it has to be Vivion, but what do you, what do you set up on? If maybe Quagsire without Toxic? That would be the only thing I could think of. Goes harder to Rotom on the Golbat. Which goes for Brave Bird. Rotom has only one more switch in with Rocks. Um, I wonder if it's going to trick now. It'll be very interesting. I don't think Waters minds being locked into Brave Bird right now. So that's kind of whatever. Because he, all Waters needs to do to not lose. Is make sure Vivian doesn't set up. As long as that doesn't happen. I think Waters just has this game. Um, so what JYT could do is Volt Switch here. I think his... Realistically, his only chance of winning is hoping Quagsire is not toxic and Quiver Dancing up on that. That's... Yeah, so I would just keep Volt switching here. Kind of has to go off Waters' choke. Yeah. If he doesn't have toxic. If he does have toxic Quagsire, then I'm sure it's over anyway. Uh, considering it should be like protect Delphox to stall out the toxic on the Vivio. It could still be sub Vivion, actually, which I haven't considered yet. But uh, it has to be sub Vivion, then the Quagsire has to go for Toxic. There's a <laughs> there's a lot of maybes. <laughs> and then he has to hit the Hurricanes, obviously. But that's that's like 91%, if I remember correctly. 70 times 1.3. Goes hard into... Interesting. So he does Devok, which makes a lot of sense. Rocks are gone. Vivion is at full... Next time it comes in, or the first time it comes in, basically. I wonder if it's Sash Vivio. It could very well be. Let's try to power shot onto the Hariyama. Now he can get in uh, Golbat. Yeah, I just clicked Brave Bird. Obviously, Slowbro could come in, but it's going to take a Brave Bird plus Toxic, plus potentially not a Brave Bird. Um, yeah, I really like this Golbat play. The, the, the <laughs> since, since Celix is gone, the Brave Bird switch just doesn't exist anymore. Especially because... Uh, because it's AV slow, bro. So yeah. Um, I think you're always very pretty. I think you knock out Rotom too. Yep. Rotom is just very frail on the physical side. Maybe even special side, but at least the physical side. <laughs> and now what do you do? <laughs> is this your chance to set up? Hoping it's not toxic. Uh, toxic Golbat and Quiver Dance up? Uh, he goes to Vivian. <laughs> he hits Sleep Powder. Okay, okay. Now you have to get a few good turns. He starts Quiver Dancing. Goes to Delphox. I'm assuming... Oh, wow! What? He hard hurricanes? So what I figured he would do is uh, Quiver Dance up and then Z hurricane this. And then it comes down to... Does Waters protect on the Z? I didn't even know if protect on the Z plus another hurricane would knock it out. It might, but... 
Yeah, this is... Uh, I don't like the, the raw hurricane. Uh, the sleep powder on the... <laughs> on the goblet is nice, but that's it. Um, it's still at full. Could still be Sash. Could be Z or Sash. I don't know what it is. If it is Sash, then I kind of understand this play. <sighs> he quiver dances up on a... Not Mystical Flyer. Well, Wish. Is he Z? Because if he's Z, uh, it's kind of 50-50, right? He substitutes on a Mystical Fire. Wow. Um, then I'm assuming he's Z. Click Square Finance again on a Mystical Fire. I mean, it doesn't do much because you don't raise your special attack anyway. I guess you raise your speed, but... He didn't fire for Z. I'm assuming he didn't have... He did, gets a Confusion? Does he hit himself? No. Okay, well, that should be game. Um, if he hit himself there, I think JYT actually had a chance, but... Uh, yeah, now, now Leaf Storm or Kicker Train just wins, basically. That was a pretty dominant game from Waters. Um, I think the, the the matchup was very good. Goes, <laughs> goes into a lone version on the Skull, gets crit, dies off. But now you just click Kicker Train with the Sceptile. And like I said, if you go Hariyama, the Sceptile goes back to full. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Bob, oh, not full, but it's more than enough. He can't do this again. You can still go into your goal bat. It's... Uh, yeah. The goal bat isn't even 3 hit KO'd. <laughs> that, that's the pathetic. Do you boost up again? Yep. And now... It doesn't really matter. As long as you get in your Sceptile next time. So you can sack off either Quagsire or Delphox IMO. I don't know why I spelled that out. But in my opinion. Goes to Delphox on the Ice Beam. Okay. Interesting. Um... Which is fine, because now you can just Mystical Fire again. And you lift the Skull. You could even go for Wish, which is uh, which is a fine play. If you Wish up, then you can go back into Golbat on the Hariyama. Exactly. And, uh... Yeah, JYT didn't really accomplish anything. So now you just go into Golbat. Uh, Hariyama can't even kill Kobat with a crit, if I remember correctly. So, um... Yep, comes back in on a knockoff. I figured JYT might, might actually want to double into the... Into Slowbro there, because of exactly this situation, and maybe get a kill with Slowbro, because that's his only win con at this point, but I don't think that's a good win con. I think you go back to Delphox again, especially because uh, this Golbat has slept for, I think, two turns now, and you got the Wish off, so it's it's infinitely going to check the Hariyama, because it can't be slept anymore. Goes into the Delphox on the Zap Cannon, hits this time, finally gets the Para. I'm assuming he's just going to want to kill it with Scald now, as he gets paralyzed on the Protect, dies to the Scald, now he goes back into the Sceptile, clicks Giga Drain again, so he doesn't miss, and he just he finishes it off safely. I'm pretty sure two Giga Drain should win the game. Uh, Life Up Giga Drain should finish off a AV Slowbro at this range, and even if it doesn't, Slowbro goes down, and your Golbat should win the game because it won't be once the, the Hariyama. Mm -hmm. What well, is just very safely playing it out right now, which is uh, which is fine. It's working out great. Yeah. You could lose Storm here if you want to, but he doesn't want to miss either, I'm assuming. So Giga Drain, Giga Drain is so safe. Goes to Hariyama on the Giga Drain. Exactly, that's 40%. Um, I don't even care if Hariyama has Protect, because it's not going to kill. He could be Fake Out or Bullet Punch. He does show the Protect on the Giga Drain. Now he's going to die to the next Giga Drain. He doesn't risk the roll, I guess? Wow, that was a really interesting play. Um, I would have all with Giga Drain there. Was that a roll? That's interesting. I guess it's safe to do this anyway. Because you have one more sack and that's all you need. But, uh... I, uh, I don't like this play too, too, too much. But yeah. Let's skip this song. It's a bad song. That's better. So, this Golbat has 15 roots left. Thanks, Redoc. <laughs> Goes to the Slowbro on the Wake Up, on the Brave Fruit, I'm assuming. Oh, Super Fang, even. Yeah, this Slowbro is even lower. You just sack off Quagsire and you click Giga Drain a few more times and you win. Um, I like the Super Fang a lot there because uh, either you put Hariyama in range of the uh, Giga Drain or you hit the Slowbro for a good amount of damage and you don't take Recoil, which is awesome. Especially because uh, even on the Hariyama, uh, the Recoil from Brave Fruit would have been a lot because of Hariyama's great HP stat. So, uh, yeah. He Brave Birds, he wants to knock out the Slowbro. Makes sense, but uh, I don't like this too much. Hmm. You go Sceptile, you click Giga Drain. Now, you could leave Storm to finish off the uh, the Hariyama, but I think Giga Drain is fine. Because I don't think Hariyama can 
touch the Quagsire too badly. And Quagsire should finish it off with Earthquake. So I think Giga Drain is just the safest play. I don't think you lose ever if you do that. Whereas if you miss Leaf Storm, you have a chance. I think Hariyama has to close combat here too. To knock it out. If it even knocks it out. Which it doesn't. Yeah, exactly. He had to close combat there. And then you still had the defense drops. And uh, depending on what Quagsire it is, that should be game anyway. So yeah, the Sceptile finish it off. And uh, Waters wins, uh, it wins in a not so tight 2-0, to be honest. Uh, very fun game, though. Fun to watch. Waters played it very well. JYT did the best he could. He really did. Uh, the matchup was just was just tough. Um, not sure what kind of uh, Vivian it was. Maybe it wasn't the... I think it was, but he just wanted to go for the confusion because that was his wing con. But yeah, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to check out Doc's channel. Make sure to check out my channel. And uh, I hope you guys all have an amazing day. And I will see you next time. Alright, later guys.